morning. Shh, it's um, early. I think we're in Grand Turk. We probably are. It doesn't feel like we're moving as much. It's early as poop balls right now. Which, which is funny because at home we get up around this time, sometime <laughs> between now and 7 a.m. to, you know, you get ready for work and all that stuff. On a cruise, I make this breakfast. is early now. On a cruise, this is early as poop balls. That's all I know. <laughs> Uh, but we are in Grand Turk. Mm -hmm. This is what our only repeat port from yep. the bride to here. So back in Grand Turk but we again. love Grand Turk. Free um, beach day. Yeah, really. Free pool day. Awesome. So it's just ahead of 6.30 a.m. Um, breakfast opens at 6.30, so we're going to go get some of that. And then our day is, we're, what, 7 o'clock? Mm -hmm. So we should be getting off the ship around 7, 7.15. Run to get a chair. I know, run to get a free chair, maybe. Just um, one to put our stuff on. Though. True. And then back on board time is 2.30. Early day. So short day, mm -hmm. early day, but we're going to see, if the fish are awake, we're going to see them. I hope so. But right now, breakfast. Yes. So let's roll out, see if we're awake, and we'll get some food. Sounds like a plan. Bye. Bye. Good morning. I don't want to say good morning again. Bye bye. All is quiet. Everyone is sleeping. All right, we got the all clear and we are in Grand Turk. Well, it does look like we're the close ship. I thought we had docked on the far side of the pier, so the elation will be coming in over on the other side here at about nine o'clock. And we are definitely among the first people to hit the beach. I don't see anybody out there yet. Yeah, Dee was chugging down that beach, but she got here, Happy snagged a chair, morning. found a friend. What in the world? Oh, looks like you found two friends now. All right, nobody's really in the water yet. Looks like there may be more free chairs available today than there were when we were here last time. But anyway, we're definitely early enough for them. I'd say the first one or 200 people off the ship maybe can get the free chairs. And Dee was on her game this morning. All right, Miss Mermaid Coral Reef is getting in water mode. Ready to go. Early morning water mode. Right down to the beach. Wow. Well, this is a first. D is the first one in the water at Grand Turk. Let's have a look. There is no one else in this water. She is queen of the sea. Wow. We're just relishing this moment, sitting here staring at you. That's how this works. Me and all of YouTube is just like, look at her and all this glory. Well, it's not the glory, it's the sunshine. Heh, 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 heh. All right, well, I'm gonna officially be the second one in the water at Grand Turk. I already see some little fish swimming around. The water's not too bad, it's a little refreshing. For the first time in history, the uninterrupted, abandoned, deserted island, Grand Turk Spin. It's like no one else is on this island with us. Got all these pristine blue waters all to ourselves. That's kind of fun. It's like 7.30 in the morning. Here we are, swimming, Grand Turk. There's two people down there got their feet in our water. We've ruined all their hopes and dreams of being the first ones in. <laughs> Ricky and Laura are still back there somewhere. They are chilling in the lounge chairs. I think Ricky said it was too early to get in this water. We crazy. Mike and Robin are still on the ship. They'll be joining us later. Let's get this day started. I guess the plan for the day is swim in this water. Check. Uh, maybe go get some nachos and stuff at Margaritaville. Maybe hop in the pool, as long as it's not like last month and you know they had to close it because somebody dropped a bomb in it. And uh, that's the plan. So there you go. Quick and easy. I'm pretty sure she has gone straight out there to try to look for her barracuda because they are very territorial. And she remembers where he was last time. So she's trying to go say good morning to Barry. I just know it.
Oh gosh, look who came to crash the party. Messed up our plan of being the only ones in the oh. water. <laughs> Gosh, well, there's there's people down there. Talk about y'all. Oh. Yeah, no, there's people down there now, so our, our precious water has been tainted. Looks like we're about to get our first fishy fish report of the day. The question on everyone's mind is, how is Barry doing this morning? I saw him. Yeah, I knew Barry would be there. He wasn't where he usually is. He was just swimming out there. Oh, he's on vacation. <laughs> he likes to take little trips every now and then. At first it was like, is that him? But yeah, it was him. That's good. It's good to catch up with Barry again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it needs to be sunny. It's it, kind of like foggy. Yeah, but... it was, but then the sun went away. You can see stuff though. Yeah, the sun's asleep. I mean, we should be asleep too, but we're Correct. not. We're not. <laughs> This on berry and just you know your typical grand turk fish. <laughs> grand turkey and fish. It's wavy. All right, sunshine. We need the sunshine there's to come back out. Many people in the water. Yeah, there's not a lot of people out here. <laughs> I was the first one in the ocean. Yep. Woo! Woo! High five. Uh. Wet high five. Yeah. She's off. Here comes the sun and there goes the D. But on the horizon, you can see the elation coming in back there. There's a little teeny tiny elation that is going to be joining us here in like, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. They slow. Get over here, elation. so tiny on the screen but it's actually a lot bigger looking with the naked eye all right little elation come on in Where'd the elation go? It disappeared. I think it sank. Oh my gosh. Breaking news, the elation sank in Grand Turk. Oh no, it's probably just completely obscured by this big old sunshine. I'm still curious to see if they pull it far enough ahead to where we're gonna be able to see the nose over here. But it is completely obscured from this angle. Poor little baby elation. We still need to sail that one. There is a D coming this way. You have swum all over. You know I looked up and you were way down at the I far the buoys. I saw your little head bobbing up down there. I saw an eel. It was Aww. blue and yellow and green. It was like this long and it like I got it for a while and it was swimming. Oh wow. Swimming? It was it was swimming. I'm tired. It was swimming. <laughs> Swam all over. You and did. Flounder. A flounder. <laughs> They're very flat and they match the rocks. There we go. The nose of the elation has just come and peeked around the corner from the sunshine. Uh, looks like they're wiggling into final position. We're not going to see too much of them from this angle. I think Dee is going to head over to the pier and try to find those all those bajillion white fish that she saw before. So maybe you, you will get some. That yet. No, no, I have to do that when I get home. Maybe you will see some better angles of the elation. Because this is about all we're going to see from right here.
we're getting a little better view of the elation than I thought from right here. They're getting ready to put down these uh, forward lines. They seem to be tied in everywhere else, but these ones on the very front. I guess we'll watch some marine coordination in action. Something like that. Yep, there they go, dropping those bow lines. So then they just use those little thin ropes to haul them up there and tie them down. That is our captain in a rare sighting of him. He is taking a picture of the ship. Yay, thank you so much, Captain. Keep us safe. They are. I was wondering if the elation scared them away. Okay. No, no, no. They're out there. Are they? Did you, so, peer fish. You have peer fish yeah. now. I talked to them. <laughs> They're your and peers. I was out on the pier taking pictures, so I talked about him a little bit. Oh, okay. If you can see it. I don't know. You can't see him on this thing. Look at you vlogging out there. Not much. I have my snorkel mask. I was like, there's no captain in there. Wow. Well, I didn't have my snorkel in, which is my nose covered. <laughs> That's the best content. Yeah, I try. It's only 8.40. Yep. I've already laid down my exercise today. <laughs> so we heard them make the announcement that they were closing our gangways a little bit before the elation got here. Pretty soon they should ding, ding, ding in and let us know that the gangways are back open. So we did not have to clear the water because they appeared on the other side there. But they did close our gangways for a little while. Here comes a whole bunch of people streaming down the gangway. That's not called a gangway, streaming down the pier. I don't know if this is, I think they've just released uh, the sunshine people to get back off again, because it's still about quarter to nine, so I think they're gonna release the elation, usually right around nine o'clock, but you never know. They could have let them loose early. One last uncrowded spin before all these people get here and just suck up our beach water. You know what they're gonna do with making our way out here now to visit D. way out here by the buoys. You see how far we are from this beach? Gosh, I'll get some exercise in today, y'all. Gotta keep up with her. Oh, you got water on your face. Oh well, it'll work. See, you just get splashed a little. Anytime you got water on your face, just go blue loop. Then you just end up with more water on your face, but hey. Well, look who we caught up with <laughs> way out here, almost all the way back to Bonaire. I see you trying to swim to Bonaire out here. That would take a while, but I would try. <laughs> cold. Are you seeing fun stuff while you're out here being cold? Yeah. Did you visit Barry again? No, he hasn't come back. What I was the heck? He swam by me, but he wasn't in his usual spot. Oh, he's out getting breakfast. Okay, he'll, yeah. he'll be back home later. It's getting warmer. Yeah, well, a lot of other bodies are getting in this water and they start peeing. Ew. So. Okay. No, I mean, it's still cold. Heats it up out here for us. Yeah. So we're over here now by this, uh, almost by this far buoy line just off the back of the ships. We can see over to Jack Shack down there. That's a popular destination a lot of people like to go to. We actually heard earlier this week that uh, their dog, Topher, had passed away. That's actually happened while we're on this cruise. So we've been following along with that on Facebook, but very sad to hear. They do still have Calypso down there, the younger dog, but Topher, I think he was 12, passed away this week. So sad, sad to hear that for Grand Turk. Just the little ones, but they hurt. What? Why are you trying to run into jellyfish? We don't need to make friends with them. Well, I didn't, but I saw about four. If you make friends with them, maybe they'd stop stinging you. They didn't sting <laughs> me this time. That's good. I moved away. I tried to film them a little bit. Mm. You think it'll come out? I hope so. Very clear. I'm trying to see if you get any turtles down here. I know we had some friends tell us that they came down to Jack Shack and did some snorkeling and saw go? turtles, right? No! 
Well, we've gotten out of the water now. Get a little bit of wiggly GoPro footage of walking over here. <laughs> Left the good camera back in my backpack. We're down in some uncharted waters now. Never snorkeled these waters. Yeah, so it looks rockier down here. But hey. Here. Good snorkeling. We're trying different stuff. <laughs> It's a whole new world down here, so we have to do another grand turkeyan spin. That doesn't sound like the right term, but you know what I mean. Never been in this water before. You know, we're literally like 100 yards from the water we normally swim in, but it's all brand new water. Not too much luck up there snorkeling around the reef shark uh, bar area. So we're wandering even further down now, doing all the exploring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have officially made it down to Jack's Shack. After how many trips to the Grand Turkey? A lot of trips. It's not that far, guys. <laughs> I smell chicken cooking. I know Jack's is famous for jerk chicken. Smells good down here. They got a little music. Peaceful, nice sandy beach, actually. Probably not the best for snorkeling, even though I think, nope, that's not a fish. <sighs> There's a lot of little blobs out here, which could be uh, rocks and things. I know people have talked about seeing turtles down here. I said that earlier. And actually, as we were walking down here, there was a couple going the other way and they were talking about turtles. So, good sign, question mark? I don't know, we'll leave it up to D to find out. Well, I guess since we've changed bodies of water again, we'll have a Jack Shackian spin. Gotta do it. Looks remarkably similar to the other ones. Hmm. You saw the turtle? Kind of far away, but like I would turn around there, he wasn't, he swam that way. Uh, okay. It was a little baby one. Okay. Like, maybe this big, but I caught it on. Oh, I thought you meant like. No, don't touch the sea life, people. Don't catch the turtle. All right, I think we are going to head back down toward the ship beach zone down there, catch up with our people again because we just kind of wandered off and went on an adventure. But I got a turtle. <laughs> you did get to see a turtle, so that was it. cool. Anyway, we're going to head doodly 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 back down to that zone. Well, that was cool. We just got to stop and see Calypso on the way out. She seems a little sad today, yeah. understandably. But cool to see her. Sweet pupper. Ah, we're back over here in our cozy water right by the ship. Love it, love it. Gonna see if we can find the rest of the gang. Yes, I'm talking to myself. Now I'm talking to you. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> We had a nice little walk and now we're having a nice little chill. Yeah, it's about what, 10, 10, 10, 15, something like that now. I feel like it's time to reapply. We'll be going to, going to get some food. Is it 10.30? Wow. Yes, All right, we'll be, <laughs> yes, sir. Why don't you call me that like I'm old? You're not old, I love you. <laughs> but we'll uh, go get some food here in a while. Having us a nice day. Done. You well, I don't know how high you can hold it. You have got a dang old blender. It's a decent deal, though. I mean, decent. Oh well. So if I bring this back to Margarita Bill, do I get a refill for nine ninety five next time? Ah. Is that true? I'm bringing it. I back. guess. We don't oh, have grand turkey anymore. We don't. Well, any mar oh no, it's any of them. Oh, any of them. All right. Well, when in, when in Margarita Bill, I guess you got to do it. Do it up right. We got nachos coming, so we're gonna get those carbs in. Thank you. Well, we've definitely got a volcano or two of nachos. Um, Will you please do the micro? There you go. Woo woo! Look at him go. Jay does the macarena. Woo! Sexy. 
All right, we are going in pool mode. If your bartenders and your servers are treating you good, can you give them a round of applause, please? Uh, uh, we're relaxing in serene cold mode. They don't have the flow rider going today, so there must not be a lot of demand for that. Yeah, it's a little chilly. We're getting used to it. I went on a walk. You did an entire lap of the pool just now. I've never done that, so I decided to do it. Well, you disappeared. I thought you were heading to the bar, and then all of a sudden you came back around. We are going to have a dance party. Does this say put your pants on? I mean, it's good advice. Put your pants on. Put your pants on. Put your pants on. I did when I forgot my pants in the elevator. Wow. There's a fender bender. I don't know dancing to. You just make it up as you go along. You look at me like, that's a good day. Yep. Wow. I got tired. Whew. We've had too much fun at Margaritaville. I think we're going to head back to the ship, get some showers, get cleaned up. Good day in Grand Turk. So before we get out of Grand Turk, we're going to check at the Diamonds International. Pretty sure we have this charm, but I don't remember what it is. Seagull charm, which you yeah. did not have. That's kind of awesome. Cool. I think that's Seven. different than last time. We've come over to the other Diamonds International location here now to see if they have a different charm. Thank you. Oh, sounds like it's the same charm. That's what you see when you're yeah. down there. Yeah, you can see all that like solid wall of fish. So down if you come there. up here, there's thousands of them. It's really cool. Come back to the cabin to find a lobstery friend. Cute and delicious. So we ended up with a Caribbean iced tea fish bowl. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's woof sweet and strong. It's woof sweet. Very good. We're heading back to the Havana. They have live music. You can even go on. Boy, nary day. Yeah. Well, a strange assortment of There's snacks in up here in the Havana. Mike is coming with cookies. Oh, Lord. Oh, spotted cookies. I like the ones with the dots on them. butter, but I didn't know how to get it. Like they're gonna have to split the bread. Well, no, you can have. Bread. You can make chicken sandwiches. Of course, tonight a lot of shenanigans happening. Oh, shenanigans! Good evening. I feel like we haven't talked in a while. When's the last time we saw you guys? In the ocean. It could be. No, we did trip. No, we wrapped up our day in Grand Turk, mm -hmm. came back on board, hit up a little happy hour at the Red Frog. After showers. Played some more phase 10. Did a uh, rock, rock trivia, trivia. Got one. It. That's yeah. right. Mm, and then smart. took a nap. <laughs> now it's dinner yeah, time. Yeah, I did some work, you could took a nap, and now we're gonna go eat food. My head hurts. So it's about quarter after six, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's what's happening now, is dinner time eating. Hungry. All right, well let's roll out and have some dinner. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Y'all come on, we're gonna eat some food. Yeah. Okay. So 
we're coming in here now at the end of bingo it is love and marriage show time this is quite the popular show obviously well we found some handy seats on the very back row hey this is it this is drama no time limit on this one but please, before Princess Kate, let's go ahead and uh, I don't know what you were thinking. When I walked out here, you're like, Mikey, you are dressed so conservatively for such a great show. You were wrong. Tonight, I'm rocking Superman. D is using the car wash for your hands. Nice. warm water. going to sleep we just got done with the love and marriage show when's the last time we did an update mm. i don't know we played cards we went to love and marriage had dinner and after that well yeah their dinner was in there somewhere too there was and a then Mexican buffet. we went to check it out not Nobody hungry nope not hungry for a bit of it but took some pictures and video mm -hmm. it looked good but man i'm full yeah so we're going to bed now. We are in Princess Keys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Private island life, living up the buffet, swimming, snorkeling. I'm Bring your water shoes if yeah, you come. Yeah, true, I did. I haven't used my water shoes at any beach so far, but Princess Keys? I have twice. Definitely. Yeah. But we'll say goodnight for now. So goodnight. we'll see y'all tomorrow, living that Princess Keys life. Get to sleep in. Yay. A little bit. Yeah, what time, <laughs> like 9.30ish we get there? Yeah, I'll sleep till like eight. That's cool, I can do that. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. Ah.